Okay, so I'm back Hi. to do my um, favorite products of 2013. This video a little late going up, but um, I saw this video going around a lot, so I was like, hey, why not try it? So I'm going to do my products, then I'm going to do my favorite mascara of 2013, and um, my favorite mascara of 2013, then I'm going to do my favorite brushes of 2013 so anyway i'm going to start because i don't want to make this video too too long so my first products products that i constantly use mostly throughout the whole entire year 2013 is the elf makeup mess and setting spray right here and i love this product for it to be only three dollars it's a really good product product and it set my makeup well and i just started using the Urban Decay All Night Spray. So I'm going to see how that goes. If you guys want to see a couple of hairstyles, what I do with my, a couple of hairstyles I do with my box spray, this is one of the hairstyles I do. But I will do a separate video on that so I'm not going to get too much into this hairstyle. And I'm so sorry that's my child in the background hyper. So the next product, product I used mostly throughout the whole entire year also was the Hard Candy, um, primer and base setter for all over your face and Travis and I think and this stuff is almost gone I had it stuff for a long long time and this stuff goes a long way I use it like for around my nose all over my face and my eyes and stuff and it gives my face like a really pretty glow because I have really dry skin and yeah, so it gives my face a really pretty glow. I love this stuff. This stuff works amazing. So right here. And this, I think this was like $6 at Walmart. I'm sorry about the color on my hand. I was eating some hot chips. So my hands are crazy looking. So my favorite foundation of 2013, I, well I have, others that I've been using throughout so I use a lot of foundation try different you know sorts of foundation throughout 2013 and I really switch back from the Travis sorry guys sit down I really switch back from the these two right here I mostly use this one throughout 2013, this brand I really use. And also, these was the most mostly used foundation. Travis, sit down. I'm sorry guys. These was the mostly used foundation of the 2013. I don't know why I'm showing this. I'm showing my favorites. But these are also really good products that I love. The foundation I love throughout 2013. Um, this was okay. It was a light coverage for me, and I don't. I need a, um a full coverage because I have a lot of black marks on my eyes, so this didn't really work. Um, this right here, it works pretty well, but it's not my skin color. Color, like it's the darkest color they have in this foundation, but it shows up yeah, yeah. orange on my face for some reason. And this, this is mainly what I use until I started using the um. Mary Kay foundation and my color is browns 5 and this stuff is oil free um it's it smooths on your face so well and it the coverage is really good so I'm really loving this this is this is my all-time favorite I really started using it about three months ago but this is my all-time favorite foundation that I'm gonna start buying because I really really love this foundation off foundation well my other oh my god this stuff works miracles like <laughs> this is a real and it kind of it's kind of like I guess that mean it's running out I need to get another one but they sell per mineral at Ulta if you guys want to try this brand I also have the foundation I haven't used the foundation yet my color is dark in the um sorry guys so as I'm saying, my color is dark <coughs> in a pearl mineral um, 
the Pearl Mineral Foundation, but the powder is amazing. Like the coverage. And I use this as a setting powder after I put my foundation on. So after I go in with the Mary Kay foundation, I go in with the Pearl Mineral. Um I'm trying to see. Uh press. That's it. So this is like you can use this as a setting powder. That's exactly what I use. Our, if you don't want to use that set, you can also use it as a foundation if you don't like liquid foundation. And this have really, really good coverage. And once again, you can find this at Ulta. Um, one palette I was really obsessed with this year because uh, I'm really into the natural look. I don't really like the bright, bow eye look. I don't really... I'm getting into it, like trying around with different colors and stuff, but I really... My go-to look is more so a natural look with a bow lip. So, this right here has been my go-to palette for months. Like, this is my favorite palette of 2013. Um, and it's called a Sally Girl. Sally Girl palette. It's a set, and it's got it from Sally's. And it's like the little natural palette to go. And these colors went a long way. Like, I'm surprised I'm not even at the bottom of it. Um, so my favorite concealer of 2013, which I really started before I was using this concealer, I was using the TJ. Get that out your mouth. I'm sorry, guys. Before, um, I was using, what was it? I was using the Studio Finish Concealer by MAC. Like, I have, like, five samples of these and just, these samples went a long way. So, I've been using, um, I don't know if you guys can see that. This is the color, and my color is NW45. This is the concealer I've been using before I, and, I'm sorry guys, I'm just all over the place. I'm trying to get this other concealer, and this right here, the signature by Mary Kay. So these are the concealer I've really been using. I wasn't really into concealer for highlighting, so I'm really just now getting into it but anyway my favorite um my favorite concealer of 2013 with well, the end of 2013 is the um oh, it's two different names no yeah LA girl pro concealer well LA girl concealer um HD high definition these concealers work miracles like you guys see this once I put this on and my foundation my black marks are completely gone so if you guys have an invest in these you can find these at your local hair store I go online you can find it through $1.99 or $2.99 which is an amazing deal what is a like an amazing price for the quality of it so the last two things my favorite things are of 2013 are the Big Eye by Maybelline and the Rocket Volume on Mascara. I'm surprised this is not dried out because I had this for a while. Uh, I'm going to have to go buy another one of these because I heard you're not supposed to use mascara but that's over like three months or so. But it's still, it's not dried out or nothing and I think it's still pretty good. And this is the big eyes. I have the two side. I, I more so use the skinny side. Um, yeah, so these are my favorite mascara. As you guys know, I told you guys I didn't like how my eye felt when I put on mascara. mascara. So I'm just now getting into mascara. So that was, those was my favorite products, my beauty products of my favorite beauty products of 2013. I really enjoy these products. Um, <clears throat> everything that's here. Now, I think this was really expensive. I don't know because this was given to me. So, I don't know how much these are from Mary Kay. I have to go online and see because I want to purchase some more. I have another one, but it's a lighter tone. I can use it as a highlight. But anywho, I'm always off subject, guys. But these are my favorite products. Me, Travis, come in here. These, I'm trying to pick them all up. These was my favorite products. These right here are my favorite products from 2013. So I hope you guys enjoyed this quick video. And comment below in the videos you want to see. And thank you guys so much for watching. Bye guys.